I am so glad you were here. In today's video, we are doing a whole house organizing video. Whole house. We're going room to room and I am showing you my favorite organization item. I'm gonna show you where I got it and I'm gonna try my best to get you motivated to organize your entire house with me. Because when you have a clutter-free house, you have a clutter-free mind, there is a direct correlation and that is what we want. So, that is what we're gonna do today. I think that you're gonna get a lot out of today's video. Make sure you stay tuned to the end. And yeah, each and every room. We're talking bedroom, bathroom, linen closet, kitchen, fridge, pantry. Did I say bedroom? Every single room in the house. We are gonna organize it. And I'm gonna show you how to make yours more functional and work for you. So let's get started. We are starting off in my bedroom. So I'm gonna do the closet first. It is something that I need to utilize for multiple things. So I got these clear shoe bins, extra large and for boots as well. I really like these because they're durable, they're thick, and there's ventilation, which is awesome. I also wanted clear because I'm gonna put my shoes in here and I wanna be able to see what's in there when I put them up on the shelves. I don't wear certain shoes a lot. I live in Florida, I do slip on shoes, tennis shoes and sandals the majority of the time. So the things that I don't wear all the time, I'm gonna go ahead and put in these bins. So one thing I noticed, these bins are pretty large in my opinion, so it can fit a men's shoe. I should have tried Chris's shoes, it's a size 13, but I totally forgot. I'll do that again, I'll figure it out and tell you guys. But um, yeah, it was large so i was able to fit multiple pairs of shoes in one bin and for reference i have a size eight shoe i really liked them and having a lid to it i'm able to stack it so when you have limited space you want to use as much vertical space as possible whether it's a pantry linen closet or a regular closet they always have so much dead space at the top well, let's utilize it. Stack things up as much as you possibly can. Things you don't need to get to that frequently. And it will help you save a lot of the space, you know, at eye level. And, and then you can do more stuff with that. So that is what I am doing right now. I'm going to continue to fill these bins up. And then I'm going to show you how it all turns out. I was very, very pleased with these. And these bins were very, very affordable. I'm now gonna use the boot bin. That sounds silly, but the boot bin. Because my boots are the type that go like all the way up to the knee and it's very soft and like you see, foldable, I'm able to put multiple pairs in here. When I use my regular riding boots, I, I put those in the other bin. All you could fit was one pair of boots. Again, reference a size eight. But for this bin, I was actually able to put three, which was a win-win. I love being able to get more use out of something um, than it's intended. And we will always talk about that here. I want you to always consider things, think outside of the box. These bins would be so great for under your bed or in your closet still for some clothes, winter clothes, summer clothes, or just things you don't wear all the time, but you wanna have some ventilation there and you want to have it um, somewhere where you can stack it and to just save some space in your closet and your, where your hanger, where your hanging clothes are at. So think outside of the box. You're gonna hear me say that so many times in this video. Sorry if it gets annoying, but that is what I want us to do here. If you see something with its intended purpose, think of how you can use it for it to work for you. Now looking at it, this, these would be really great for bags as well. It's ventilated and just helps not collect a whole bunch of dust. I don't carry a lot of bags right now just because I have a diaper bag, but now looking at it, I might get one more for my purse 
or it actually might fit in those bins over there. Here are the other bins. Now, these are the extra tall, extra large bins. I didn't realize I had ordered so many sizes. So many sizes. Um, so they actually have another. I think it's a small size, maybe medium. I will confirm all that. You'll see it here on the screen. But um, I'll have everything in my description box, so you'll see what it is down below. But they have different sizes. So if you have like high tops or heels or flats and tennis shoes, so there's a box for everything. But I decided to use this box for my purses. Like I mentioned, I do not use my purses very often because I still am using Emma's diaper bag. So being able to put them in here so they don't get so dusty was a win-win. So it won't fit a large bag. This is a large tote bag. Um, I don't want to mess it up. So I would need a larger one, like a boot size one, but I like that it works for the purses. These little hanger helper gadgets are actually from Timu. Now I will be doing a video of all Timu type of things that I can use for organizing, but I'm just going to share a couple of here because we are in the closet and it makes sense to share this with you right now. So to be able to maximize the space in your closet, you are going to use these. You're going to slide it right over your hanger like so, and then you are able to hang another garment right there. You can do it as many times as you can till it fits your closet. I actually will show you that I can do three on here. I don't have much space at the bottom of my closet because I have that shelf in there. So I can only really do two comfortably unless I move it, but it works out great. I think this is great for garments, you know, anything in your closet, but especially for things that just take up so much stinking space, but are small, like say, you know, you have like pants or something that goes with a particular top that would be perfect it's with its item keeps it right there all organized or my tank tops this is great too chris uses it for his work shirts and he puts them all his work shirts on just a couple of hangers and then it's right there and it's not taking up a lot of hanging space Here is what it looks like with it stored up above. I have more room for the things I grab immediately. I love the way this turned out. You guys know I love organization. It makes me so happy. And this turned out so good. So if you're new here, I have six kids. My oldest is 21. Next is 18 and he's still home. He does not like sharing a bathroom with his three brothers, which are 13, 9, and 11. Okay, I messed it up there. Sorry, there's a lot of kids. So he said, Mom, can you get me a shower caddy? Because I want my own stuff. I don't want them using it. And I thought, okay, I'll do it. So I got this shower caddy from Walmart. It was about five or six dollars. And I am putting his items in here. He's going to take it in and out of the bathroom, including his toothpaste, toothbrush, and deodorant. Because if he doesn't want to share space with his brothers, I'm going to make it very accessible for him to have what he needs to take in and take out. I thought this was such a great idea and this would be also really great for cleaning supplies as well. So you guys know I love to do my nails at home. I have multiple different containers that I have put my nail stuff in. So I got this box. It is a lidded box from Walmart. You put the lid on it. There's different sizes. It also stacks. I like that a lot. When it comes to like shoes and things like that, I do want clear so I can see what the what is in there, especially if it's going to go up high. But when it's something that I know that has like a lot of different colors and it looks really cluttered, I'm going to use white. I even like using white in the pantry. So for here, I'm just going to use this for all of my nail stuff. More bathroom organization. I love this. Again, we are using that vertical space. We are capitalizing on the space that we have. So this is awesome. I got it from Amazon. You can actually change all of these. So it fits the products that you have. I like that everything, again, vertical space. It stacks on top of each other. And when I need to get anything, it is all right there. 
Love this, highly recommend it. I've been using it for about th two years now, maybe two and a half, and I love having this. I can also enjoy being able to stick things in there if I want it to stand up. There's a little opening there and being able to move it to fit anything that I have. So we are continuing on. Now this is a clip from right when we moved in. You'll have to excuse all the clutter that is around. Like I said, this clip is, I think, yeah like right when we moved in so i was organizing the linen closet i got these bins here from the container store but true transparency that was a sponsored post i do not usually shop there because it's way too expensive and this exact container i have purchased at tj maxx for about five bucks so just letting you know the container store is amazing has some really cool stuff but you better head to home goods tj maxx Marshalls, Ross, the places like that, that is where you're going to get more bang for your buck when it comes to organizing things. Also, it is a little touch and go there. You can always, you're not always able to get a lot of the same thing because it is discounted and you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. <laughs> That's what I heard. But Walmart and places like that, you, you have more uh, opportunity to get multiple of one thing. But like I said, I got this and I love it. I have used this for dryer sheets and right here I'm showing you that I'm using it for medical supplies. This is fantastic. I love the way it looks and it makes it very accessible when I need something in a pinch. Again, we are going to capitalize on that vertical space. We are going to organize all the way up if we can. So when it stacks, that makes us happy. This here are little acrylic organizers I actually got from Michaels. I have never seen them anywhere else. Um, I would check Hobby Lobby for sure, but I have not seen them in your typical, you know, home stores or Walmart. Michaels, thought this was amazing. It's actually for paint. So I decided to use it for my nail polishes because I want to be able to see everything there. I love that it is three tiered and I also like that the back is elevated. That way I can see what's back there. So I'm going to organize all of my fingernail polishes and I will also be organizing the items that I use, my toiletries that I use very often. So I shared this in my video, my bedroom makeover video, and I have to share it again because if you just hate cords everywhere and you want it organized, this is absolutely a must. Now, these are from Timu and they are little, let me see, I'm gonna pull one off. I'm gonna, pull, well, I can't. I'm gonna, it's these little clear cords and you stick, I'm trying to get it to focus, and you put the, you run the cord in it. Now it can't take super big cords. You would have to choose a larger piece, but it's perfect for regular appliance cords or um, not appliance cords, but you know what I mean, like lamps and you know, anything like that. And it goes straight through and you just put the little sticky piece on there and I just ran it all the way up for my lamp. I hate seeing cords. It looks so messy. So being able to do this for me is like a win. Here is another really handy thing to have. I got this from Timu, but you can get them from Amazon. This thing is amazing. It has got a 3M stick to the back of it, and you put your cords in here so you can hide them, but you don't lose them all the way. Ta-da! I love that. I love having that. It just makes it so easy when I want to charge my phone in the evening. Chris has one too. You can get it with three five, I think seven as well. You can get multiple sizes, but this thing here is just, it just makes so much sense to me and you can put it anywhere. We chose to put it on the nightstand. The boys upstairs have one on their desk for their cords. So super, super cool. You can also get it with different size openings so you can put different size cords in it. This is perfect for a phone charger. 
Okay, so something I will talk about all the time in my videos, I will highly recommend baskets, 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 and decorative boxes. So I got these boxes from Home Goods. You can get them anywhere. Amazon has a ton. They were so affordable. You can put contact paper over cardboard and make your own. Dollar Store has decorative boxes. If you look in the wrapping paper section, get creative with it. Hide everything you need in these boxes everything you need remotes i have my computer stuff in there literally everything boxes and baskets will be your best friend when you're trying to have things look organized but yet you want it to look nice we're not going to get all up close and personal i've talked about these before i love these dividers these are the four inch three or four inch i'll check um thick ones i like these better then the other ones I used to have, the other ones with the clasp on the side would always break. These are great. You put it in there, you push it, and it's awesome. I have my intimates on that side, so we're not going to get too focused. But I have my intimates. I had my bras here. I took them out. And then I have different types of socks in each. And this makes it look so easy. When you have a space that's organized, you can just go in there, get what you need. It won't take you a long time. It's perfect. It helps you get ready so quick. It helps you put away clothes so quick. So... That is another benefit of organizing. So if you say you don't have a budget for organizing items, I'm gonna show you how you can use just a regular old box. This was free. You can also find these boxes at the Dollar Tree. Let me tell you, you can find these a lot of places, but this is just a regular old shoe box um, that I'm able to use. You can do all kinds of things, cover it with contact paper, just whatever you want. These work so well fits perfectly in here and you can organize using what you have and you don't have to spend a single dime just so you can see it fits absolutely perfect it lines up perfect look this was free I can put a socks in here I can put anything that I need I have a little section over here obviously you don't have to have this there but get a couple of these boxes again dollar store sells these you can find them just about anywhere this was just a shoe box that came with my shoes it works out perfect you can totally think outside of the box I love the marble contact paper the floral contact paper don't ever feel like you have to spend a ton of money to have a house that is perfectly organized we don't do that here. We will always try to find the best price possible. We are doing everything on a budget. That's what we do here. And so we're trying to make use of the things that we Hey, got. I just wanted to hop on for just a second. We're watching the video. It's a lot of fun. I hope you're getting value out of it. And if you are, would you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like this video. It does a ton for me. It just shows the YouTube world, hey, you're liking this video and I appreciate it so much. And as an added bonus, I would love to have you join my YouTube family. So hit the subscribe, hit the like, and we are going to continue on. Okay, we are in the living room and I'm going to show you more baskets. Remember, baskets, baskets. So I got these baskets from Home Goods. I will try to link comparable ones. These are great because you can put pillows in here. I've got my blankets in here. I used to have a ladder, a blanket ladder, but I just did not like the way it looked and the cluttered, so I sold it. So I have three same size baskets. Um, and I just throw them in here. It just makes it so easy. The house looks neat in, in a pinch. If someone's coming over or you just don't want to look at it anymore, throw them here in the basket. Also, you can use these for anything. Just think outside of the box. Kids' toys, shoes. I mean, you just think of it. If you want to have something that needs to be out and needs to be handy and accessible right away, baskets. Okay. I'm going to show you another amazing basket. Okay, so over here, you can excuse the kitty, another basket from Home Goods. I use it for the toys. People are coming over. I want to clean up fast or in the evening. I want to clean up quickly with my cleaning routine. Just throw the baskets in here. Now, I did have another basket that went here. I guess someone took it. It was much taller, but we put our router, our wireless router in it. Obviously, this was too short. Somebody took it, and now I'm just realizing it, but I wanted to share that with you because you can put your routers in there. We haven't had any issues with it. It still gets a good signal, so who really wants to see this? And I do not want to see it up here. I don't like seeing a lot of stuff out. So again, baskets, baskets, baskets. Okay, my next little hack is actually a Dollar Tree hack. I saw this, and I thought it was pretty genius because I'm gonna show you what I have. 
and I'm going to show you how I'm going to try to organize it. So this is what I have. Just one of those old bins that actually go like this, like pull in and out. Um, it's broken. And this is what I put my hair, my brush, like my hair ties, my brush, my clips, everything in here. So when I need it, I'm like literally doing all of this. So I needed some ponytails anyway, so I decided when I was at the dollar store to get these clear shower rings and some ponytails. It's my baby. Uh -huh. Here. And so Emma's playing with a little toy back here. Let's see how this works. First off, does it is it gonna look aesthetically pleasing? Because how it looks is very important to me. I'm just gonna tell you the truth. There goes one. Okay, it's clear, can't go wrong with clear. I'm gonna take these, I'm just gonna place them in here. I like this instead of the metal rings that you can get in the um, school section because metal rust. And if it's gonna be in the bathroom, there's gonna be moisture. So this made more sense. Again, it's also clear, so I feel like that's as aesthetically pleasing as you're gonna get. I'm not mad at it. And you can also put this on here. And that's all I've got. So now where are we gonna put it? I mean, you could put it here, but I don't wanna see it. But since the previous owner had these really long uh, things here, you could do a command hook, which would actually be ideal and the Dollar Tree sells it. Or you can do this. Just gonna, look at that, works perfect. Put it on there or I can throw it back in here but the point is to have it all organized and all of the, my stuff is in here so I could put it back in there and that's fine but I think I'm just going to put it on here for now close that close that okay next thing I got these from the Dollar Tree as well let me show them to you up close I have a glass one they're pretty expensive this was just a dollar 25 I got four of them I am gonna put treats lollipops we'll see what I can do in here I'm gonna try to organize my pantry a bit better and try to make it more functional first I have to clean my kitchen though because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show that all to you so let me go clean my kitchen and I'll be right back This fits four, was it four or was it six pots? Hold on, I have two of these, one of these. Okay, so that's three, four, five. Five pots, five packages of pots. This fits. That is awesome. This would look absolutely perfect right here. Goes great. You could even spray paint the top if you wanted. You could put your K-cups if you wanted. I store my Nespresso because I don't use it every day, so I will store this in the pantry. There are literally so many uses for this. Just think about it. Oatmeal packets, uh, treats for the kids, treats for the dogs, treats for you, candy. I mean, yes, this is awesome. And it's plastic. You can use it in wherever you can also put the kids like puzzle pieces in here or their uh, little toys and dollies that you know those little tiny figurines I love these and they were only a dollar 25 I want to show you in here a really I feel like it was a very clever way to organize so I got these bins all from Amazon and it came in a huge pack I will have all of the information in my description box, but it came with tall ones and low ones and then little skinny ones. So I sectioned it all off for my mixer, my emulsion blender, immersion blender, um, like 
are these called? Measuring cups, sippies, and kids stuff here, and then the glasses. Fits perfectly in a deep drawer. See this right here? Again, I will have this all in my description box. You have to think outside the box. You could use this refrigerator, freezer, um, makeup drawer, desk, inside a drawer like this. Think outside the box. It came with so many. I wanted to share it because look, I just added it the way I needed it and it is perfect perfection. Next on the list, I'm going to show you what you can do with this water bottle holder. So it's pretty much exactly what I'm telling you. It's a water bottle holder. And with so many kids in the house, including all the water bottles that Chris and I have as well, this is awesome. Again, we are capitalizing the vertical height, the space above that we can stack things and get more into a tight space. So it does come with three, you can stack three, but I'm only gonna do the two. And it does fit a regular water bottle, but even better, it fits our coffee mugs, our travel coffee mugs that are just sitting there. I love this so much. So when I was organizing with those $1.25 little bins, I was able to use this because we had extra for the yogurt. They go great in the refrigerator and I like being able to have this completely sectioned off. We have a counter depth fridge, which PS, I love it because nothing gets lost in the back, but these are not very tall and so incredibly durable. So this makes organizing my refrigerator so, so functional and so easy. Here is another place where I was able to use it in the fridge. Next, I'm going to the medicine cabinet. I love my medicine cabinet. It's so organized, it stays like this, but I even love it more because this here, I did have the apple sauces and the little fruit pouches in here, but since I was able to use it for something else, I'm gonna use this for our medicines and it is super easy to grab. I've got it all categorized. Start losing and stop giving, I remember. Next, I have this here. So I do not like a lot on my counters. I had this at the old house in gold. I decided to do beige. I don't really know why I chose beige. I prefer gold, but they have other colors as well. It's got a very durable sticky back to it and you can put it anywhere. I had it in the pantry in the last house, but I am planning on redoing my pantry. So I decided to put it here and it'll make grabbing a paper towel very easy. Also, if you decide to put it horizontal you can hang a towel on there or if you have like something that like a little rope ends there you go you can hang it okay so i found this item from amazon if you want me to do a whole house amazon like favorites or just like my favorites of the month from amazon let me know in the comments below i think i would like to do that i'd like to know if y'all want to watch so I got this from Amazon and it is supposed to help with under the sink storage. It's pretty cool. Let's try it out. I'm hoping that it's not too hard to put together because I do not like difficult. It did come with two, which is nice. It does come with these little like vinyl like liners, which is good so things don't fall through it. It also comes with these little, we'll figure out what that's for. And so then this goes like that. Okay, that was very easy. I like easy. So let's see. And it rolls in and rolls out. Let's see how this works. Okay, so one thing I want to add, if you do put it on there, make sure you do this a little bit closer to the door because it's going to want to hit, but it actually goes literally right over. Perfect. So when I was unboxing this, I showed you the little rubber footy things. There are spots on the bottom that you can put those in and it will suction to the cabinet. 
this does move around quite a bit that's okay because I'm able to push it all the way in the back but I did want to tell you that I did end up putting the rubber suction things on there however I think double-sided tape would work better because you know when things are heavy in here it's not easy to pull however I do really really like it it is so much more functional than having the lazy Susan in here I had an 18 inch lazy Susan because the taller things were always hitting that pipe so this is definitely a win i think this would be really great in the boys bathroom or the hall bathroom anywhere i got another one of these but it will not fit over here so i'm using this little basket here with just some extra stuff but i got this from walmart this is actually a cereal container, but Emma likes to try to get under here sometimes. And with so many people, we don't always remember to put the latch on the sink knobs to hold it tight and locked. So this is perfect. I also like that it's tall and it's slender, so it slides right in here. It doesn't take up too much room. So again, we're just kind of making do with what we got and thinking outside of the box. Thing that makes my life so easy. These are actually command hooks. I think this is genius, absolutely genius. You can also put these in your closet if you wanted to maybe hang things on them. But this goes perfect right there. Okay, those are my favorite home organization items that make my life so much easier and I really think it help you as well. If you like these types of videos, let me know in the comments below. I am going to do a whole house Amazon video because this was like, Walmart, and Amazon, and everywhere, but I have a ton of just Amazon that I wanna share with you. So I've also got some more coming just to help me organize the kitchen and the cabinets and everything. So I'm excited for that one too. I wanna to kinda of show some of my favorite things because we love to organize over here and if we can get things that make our life easier, then that's what we're gonna do. Um, I don't want you to run out and go spend a ton of money, but if any of these things kinda of spark your interest and you know I have I, I have a place for that to go right now, then I wanna encourage you to get it. Other than that, don't buy it just to buy it. You know, we're all about being on a budget over here and I don't want you to spend money you don't have or shouldn't spend just because somebody else has it. Again, only use the things that you need. Now, I will say these, I got like, I think it was like a 20 piece or a 40 piece, I can't remember. Um, and it was worth it. Did I need them all at that, that time? No but I have used them throughout my entire house multiple times. So that was kind of like a splurge on my end. I got them like last year, but like thank for under the sink, I needed that right now. Um, and other things I've needed, I've needed like right now. So these things will make your life so much easier. It'll help keep things clutter free and organized. And that is what we like over here clutter free and organized so we can live our best life. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are new. Go ahead and like this video. I would love for you to join my YouTube family. And if no one's told you today, you are special, you are loved, you are worthy, and this world is a better place because of you. I am so thankful for you. See you later. Bye.